Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. In today's video, I can't wait to share all the reasons why I think XRP investors are about to witness the return of their investment. Considering the year 2021, because of its run-ins with the law, XRP clearly didn't experience the meteoric rise of other cryptocurrencies. Considering the digital-centric future we're moving towards, I'm beginning to see these legal difficulties as more of a purposeful move to discourage regular investors like us from becoming involved. The truly fascinating part of XRP, though, is its basic objective. Excuse me, family and money. We're all well aware that we're entering a digitally driven world when tokenization is becoming the norm. Examining XRP's white paper and other introductory materials indicates that, in a tokenized society, its primary goal is to simplify the transfer of not only currencies but also other assets. Fascinatingly, XRP might be designed to facilitate the transfer of both monetary and asset-based tokens. The key is to maximize productivity. Coincident with Stellar, tokenization streamlines operations considerably. XRP, the less flashy brother, is positioned to form the foundation for digital asset and money transfers. To explain in further detail how XRP has the potential to transform the remittance industry. In light of the present banking system, let's think about how this might affect the liquidity of a $200 million international transfer. To make the transfer from a Japanese bank to an American one, you'll need twice that amount. With its revolutionary ability to greatly free up liquidity, XRP might radically alter the way global remittances function in this setting. I will explore XRP's revolutionary potential in this section. Specifically, in the context of the foreign currency market and liquidity. Picture this, a market that is significantly more efficient because to an invention that allows for almost instantaneous transactions, like XRP. Because of its efficiency, Ripple has attracted the attention of many banks, nonetheless, the transition to institutional use has not yet taken place. To make this point clear, let's look at an example. Say a Tokyo branch of the Mitsubishi Bank has to transfer $100 million in yen to its New York office, so it may be converted into dollars. A sum equal to $100 million, denominated in both currencies, would normally be required at both sites. However, if a cryptocurrency like XRP could be associated with this transaction, the consequences would be huge. The possibility of Ripple's becoming public is another intriguing aspect to think about. A major step forward has been achieved with the ruling, which is now awaiting SEC clearance, which has far-reaching consequences from the litigation in which Judge Torres ruled that it is not a security. I have been an XRP investor for quite some time now even if we don't go into great detail about it here on the channel. During the last bull market, I had a mixed experience with XRP, I was able to earn more from other investments, and the lawsuit severely hurt XRP's performance. What intrigues me is that the XRP's community may at times display a rather strong, even cult-like zeal. Like with other projects in the past, XRP had me being excessively hopeful, some of my followers may have lost money since they invested based on my excitement, so I'm being careful. Nevertheless, new technical research indicates that XRP could be about to see another surge similar to its 2017 surge. This current scenario is quite similar to the one we saw before 2017. We've gone over the HVF hunt volatility funnel method on the show several times, and Francis Hunt's insightful predictions about XRP's value rising to $2.16 have been a great asset. This is a huge increase from its present value of about 60 cents. Investors can see a spectacular return if this prediction comes to fruition. In today's video, I want to share my thoughts about XRP and the opportunities one think it presents. Although this may sound like an old story, there is strong evidence to suggest that XRP holders are about to have a prosperous period. Importantly, XRP's technical structure appears to be repeating the steps that preceded its spectacular surge in 2017. Actually, it's encouraging that XRP didn't reach new heights in 2021, this might mean that we're in for a repetition of the 2017 rise. Being an XRP holder, I agree with Frances Hunt's hopeful prediction about the future of her technique. It's impossible to overlook the possibility of XRP, which I've spent the last year researching, 
when compared to the patterns preceding up to 2017. When prices hit $16, it usually means a big event is about to happen. Several variables may be at play here, including Ripple, the possibility of an IPO, or the company's recent decision to repurchase shares, which shows faith in its vision. Given the significance of quick liquidity in the modern financial environment, I believe that XRP should be included in your portfolio. Although I understand and appreciate the aggravation that many XRP holders have had, I am of the belief that our perseverance is soon to be rewarded. Long overdue, a breakthrough is about to happen, and it might reshape XRP's value and place in the cryptocurrency market. Here in the video, I'd want to delve into the possibility that the SEC, under pressure from higher-ups, was trying to dissuade ordinary people from buying XRP. It is astounding that more and more banks are partnering with Ripple, given the litigation that the company endured up until very recently. It would appear that these financial firms were unfazed by the legal issues. Notably, XRP is one of the rare cryptocurrencies that has a distinct legal standing apart from being categorized as a security, which highlights XR's durability and potential. Given this clarity, XRP has a good chance of increasing its market share in the cryptocurrency industry as a whole, and technical indications are in line with this prediction. It would appear that 2024 will be a watershed year for Ripple and XRP going forward. It will be fascinating to observe how these expectations materialize, based on Ripple's varied predictions and remarks. Having said that, I do not recommend that you put all of your money into XRP. It's important to keep a balanced view. Many XRP investors learned the hard way in 2021 that diversification is essential, particularly in the unpredictable cryptocurrency industry. Still, I think XRP would be a good complement to a diverse investment strategy. Within our own cryptocurrency holdings. All sorts of industries and digital currencies are welcome here, and they all play an important role. We incorporate XRP and XLM, two cryptocurrencies that play a major role in the value transfer and remittance industries. Efficient transaction channels are crucial for the new ecosystem that is being created, the Internet of Value, to run successfully. Potentially useful in enabling this emerging digital economy are XRP and XLM. In case you forgot, I do not have the title of Certified Financial Counselor. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.